stands the red and black block. But they're going to party tonight. And it's going to be a party in Parramatta as well. Popovich and the Wanderers have done it. Extraordinary. The Kings of Asia. Unbelievable. And they've beaten the best to get to the summit of Asian football. Whatever you say on the balance of play, that man could quite possibly be crowned the best player in Asia. But they beat Guangzhou against the odds. They beat FC Seoul against the odds. And against the odds again, they've beaten Al Halal. And oh, it's getting nasty. He is an angry ant, Nasser Al Shamrani. Spiranovic just wanted a word after that headbutt that was planted on him in the final minute. And Wanderers getting Spiranovic away from Al Shamrani. We don't need these scenes. Now they are crestfallen, Al Halal. I think he spat in his face. I think there was a clear shot of that as well. Here he is again, Al Shamrani. I mean, seriously, you're doing yourself no credit at all. Hasn't gone your way. No goals for Al Halal, but let's calm down and get ready for the trophy presentation. Not just a great night. For Australian football, Robbie, it's a significant night for Australian sport, isn't it? Winning on the continental stage. What a performance from the Western Sydney Wanderers. Massive. Just a shame to see those scenes there, but take nothing away from what the Wanderers have achieved. Popovich screaming to get his players away. And Crook as well. George! George! What about the effort that these fans went through to <laughs> get to this point, to get to this stadium, get the visas sorted out, and also at huge expense. Yeah. Full time here, nil nil on the night. The Wanderers win the AFC Champions League final of 2014, 1-0 on aggregate. The Western Sydney Wanderers, champions of Asia in 2014, <laughs> against the odds. But they've done it. And an Australian club side has finally reached the pinnacle on the continent.